Hello, everybody, and welcome to Rise of the Podcast. I am Jeremy. I'm Kara. I'm Dave. And I have arrived precisely when I intend to. You're a wizard, Brownie. He is a wizard, rainbow (laughs) wizard. It's true. Everybody, we are talking Star Wars tonight. (sighs) Yes. We are going to talk about the top planet. on in star wars now is this is this audience or is this yeah, us no, too no, this is we the audience sur- provides the planet ah! we rate okay. them now okay are we counting planets before or after like it's they just say a planet and we decide okay. our job is to debate it when and when okay. the time comes okay Okay, well, we already have Camino. <laughs> Did Mayhem say Mustafar? <laughs> yeah. Oof. Hoth? Hoth. I could make an argument for Hoth. No! All right, Chris, start writing planets down so we can start Hoth debating them. What would be them. fun I'm, to I'm see? I'm trying to... The oh, God. I was being difficult here. It was last week, too. Why are we getting oh, so many Hoths? Naboo. I'm thinking, like, Scarif. Ha, Steve Stuff Carbo. like that. He well, said Hoth. We're already there. <laughs> A few people are saying Hoth. Free Dog, Steve... Oh my uh, you mayhem. Guys, I am or no, mayhem so said stone monkey said Hoth. excited to talk about this. This is gonna be fun. Yeah. I do hope you're enjoying your time here. I really do, guys. Mortis, that is where the brother and sister are. I is it? Best well, Ben. Nor, how about Nortis instead? <laughs> huh. Steve, can you tell me? Oh, best pin of Forest Moon of Emdor. Yes, uh, Queen. Uh, 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 uh. You guys. No, 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 this is planets, not moons. Best planets to vacation on. Get your Forest I Moon mean. of Endor out of here. Oh, man. Are, are we ever going to have another time? Poor to- Pluto. <laughs> Just kidding. Felucia. Oh, Kashyyyk. Kashyyyk. Felucia's on there, too. Where's Felucia. Is it, so is it, it it's got to be intentional that it's like Fallujah, right? I don't know. Because it's like Clone Wars is kind of like the Gulf War kind of like parallels. Uh, so I, Alderaan, somebody put Alderaan. Are we talking pre See, that's, post? I think no, we're going to have to discuss that. that yeah. Once we start rating them. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, this, did I spell Alderaan right? Is that correct? If you guys make a I suggestion so. that I can't speak to, I'll need follow up information. RJ also said Endor. Chris is dying on the hill that it's a moon. My mom's calling me so I can FaceTime Chip. Good night. I mean, so, oh, whoops, sorry. I almost Run over there my own rule. Okay. Naboo. That's Naboo. a good one. That is a good one. Did, did I, is there a space in there somehow? Or is it just your font? No, there's some of space got in there. All right, any other things? Felucia's where Eilis, Sakura got killed in Revenge of the Sith. It's also in Force Unleashed. Somebody's also, like, it's also, like, Felucia's, like, the very first, like, in the Clone Wars movie. Isn't that where they're fighting? I think so. Well, so somebody and, said like, the I, mushroom like, planet. I, I always thought it was, like, it was supposed to be, like, a thinly veiled, like, Felucia, like, in the Middle East wars that we've been doing. Gavin? Okay. Mayhem. Not much about you. Mayhem, I will, I will visit the Mustafar hot spring for you someday. All right. So Brad specifically said pre asteroid belt Alderaan. Okay. Got it. Tatooine. I would visit Tatooine for the record. I would too, just because all the, all the stuff that has happened there. Yeah, exactly. It'd be like going to uh, London or the Battle of, uh, you know, or like a, you know, a Civil War Museum Park or something. Yeah, or like like the beaches of Normandy. The beaches something. of Normandy. That's a perfect example. You'd be walking Ooh, around and you'd Calamari. Jakku. <coughs> Somebody type in Jakku. Yay, Dagobah, Ryloth. Yes. Dude, Mon Calamari was in the Clone Wars, and it looks sick as unbelievable sick land. So, so where did Kara go? Oh, Chip's calling FaceTime and her goodnight. Oh, I see. So I told her, fine, but do it off stream. 
And then but Vredog, his heart's melted when he heard the little... Oh, Hi, Mandalore? Mommy. So oh. do we have two versions of Mandalore? Sure, let's make it fun. Mandalore pre and post. I'd see both. Ty Dernan wants to go to Tatooine to see the Sarlacc. Dude. Wish I could be eyes so on the Mandalore wall for Mandalore Prime, when... and then we'll do Mandalore Wrecked. Dude, Mandalore Prime could be a band name. <laughs> Tactile 3D. I want to give a shout out to Tactile 3D. So if you guys didn't know, he made the Rise of the Podcast logo um, face down onto the build plate to come up with a beautiful keychain. And I printed one, but Chip hid that away along with my two other prints that I owe for my friend that I can't spoil because it's a gift. Um, Hold on, give me one second here. I'm actually going to, I don't know why I didn't fix this yet. So Tactile, phenomenal job. On, on your hard work, and I'm hoping I can show off one in person next week. Um, but I still do not have yellow yet. But it, it looked good in red. And mm, the printer, the Sunlu T3, should be arriving on Monday. For that person. Lots of fun right, stuff. And then we're going to replace that. Okay, perfect. So if I jump to Kara's... Since, since we're waiting for Ooh, this happen, Steve yeah. Carbo, Dathomir. Yes. Oh, that'd be an interesting one. Oh, I'm back. man. Wait, why is it my close up? You melted Vredog Knight's I, I, I heart. Was, I why? was fixing Because he heard the hi, the mommy. Oh, isn't he the sweetest little boy? Do I not have Dathomir on here? I don't see it. Oh, all right. Well, I, I can add that on there. I thought I'd put that on there. I love that stinky boy. He's my favorite. <laughs> Cam's ankle, ad break. Where's my nephew? <laughs> He's with grandma and grandpa today. Yeah. He my is... nephew's with mom and dad. <laughs> yeah. He is. He has very high expectations for pancakes these days. Oh, I want to. Um, so very high expectations either, for pancakes. What do you, Chris, do you think, Chris? The Christmas episode or the New Year's episode? Should we do um, pancake robot on stream and make Star Wars pancakes? What? No, Shrove Tuesday. You want to wait until Shrove Tuesday to show off the pancake robot? Why, why, why would we not do it on the most appropriate day for pancakes ever? Wait, well, they're wait. pancakes, though, so I, I just thought more pancakes is never a bad thing. But if you want to wait until Shrove Tuesday, we can I mean, wait. otherwise, like, New Year's Eve is fine, but... Until what, Tuesday? I think Shrove Tuesday makes the most sense. Shrove Tuesday is the day before Good Friday, and it's where you... And then is it... there is there Fat Wednesday, or am I missing... Ash Wednesday... Why do I keep thinking Fat Wednesday? Because it's Fat Tuesday, Ash Wednesday. Oh, it's Fat Tuesday. Fat Tuesday and Shrove Tuesday are the same thing. I'm Got sure. it. What does Shrove mean? I don't know. It's like you, when you swim and drive at the same time, you Shrove there. <laughs> it's like a frunk. Oh, my <laughs> what, gosh. What the heck? What? Uh, Canto bite, Adam? Darth Gallum? That's genius. And then Dathomir, you added. And so then I said that too? Somebody said... Uh, Geonosis and what's Gallifer free? Canto bite. Is it hold on? How is it? Is it B I G H T? Hello, man, mutant. No, B I. I think that's right. I guess so. B I G H T. I'm not even sure. And then Gallifrey. Wait, where's is that? Gallifrey a place? You'll have to tell us what Gallifrey is because not so mobile ghost. Hello, welcome. Thank you for the follow. We saw you followed us. Earlier, we love Star Wars. Yeah, well, I have Scarif. Yeah, okay, Scarif. I okay, never did, mind. That's too early. To did you put Bat Two on there? Somebody said like Darth no. Gallon said Bat Two. Oh, Bat Two is lit. Is that W? Yeah. Is it like this? Two yeah. U's. No, no, two U's. No, no. I think it was right the first time. Yeah, just B A T U U. What? Um, Gallifrey is Doctor Who. Use sneaky what's, um, sneakers. So I have Coruscant on here somewhere. I think. No. Gallif okay, so no Dar Coruscant. Oh no, that's right because nobody suggested it. Sorry, that's why I that, I don't even break my own rules. Darth Gallum said Gallifrey was Doctor Who, so Gallifrey can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I said. We got bamboozled. Well, that's fine. Um, Endor's a moon. <sighs> Ty Durden, Endor is a moon. I, 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 I can't wait until I can start using the stream deck again. I'm going to have a denied button set up. So I'm like, <laughs> eh. <laughs> it's funny. Wait, is Dathomir on there twice? I want to do a shout out, though. I do want to do a See, shout out. I thought out. it was. I thought I had it on there. Oh, yeah, it is. They're right next to each other. 
<laughs> What's on there twice? I I Dad the mirror. Oh, Chris, to funny. be fair, I didn't see it there either when you were asking about it. <laughs> Stone Monkey said Coruscant. Triclos says. Okay, okay. Cor Steve Carbo, Sorry. can you tell me what Peridia is? Not to be confused with periodontis. Periodontitis? <laughs> What's or the gum peridia. disease? A periodontist. It is periodontist? Per peridia? Yeah. Peridia sounds like a place. It does sound like a place, but I can't tell if they're trolling. I know. Because you know there, you know there's planets. Ooh, I'd want to go to Ryloth to see the Twi'leks. Oh, I don't have I do The lady Twi'leks, Jeremy? I, I, yeah, I just want to see all the Twi'leks. I mean, male Twi'leks have the weird boob heads. Boob heads? Oh, you guys. You guys. Oh, I, I forget. I need to get this off my chest. So I no, was. This is Star Wars content. I here. have to. It's about <laughs> dong. No. Yeah, you say, save the dong for later, Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy. <sighs> Put Jeremy eating pizza in chat if you want to talk about dong. Oh, okay. Yeah, now, Hutta. Is that where the Hutts are from? Place. Nobody wants to talk That's about That's a good one, Scarbo. <laughs> Scarborough. Right, do we think we have enough? And it, 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 okay, I haven't been looking at chat that much. If anybody said something that isn't on the list yet, start blasting Jakku. Yes, Bree Dog does want to talk about Dong. It'll be <laughs> it's the fastest possible Pete thing. Pete wants to talk about Dong too. Uh, no. It's this I will Star Wars time. Darth Gallum, you will decide. As you're the person who decides and uh, complains we don't do no Star Wars content. Do you want to finish doing this list or do you want Jeremy to talk about Dong? For one <laughs> second, I will j give me 10 seconds I can tell the Dong story. No, we'll we'll, we'll wait for Darth, Darth Gallum's choice. This is Darth Gallum's choice. All right. Darth Jeremy Gallum. really wants to talk about Dong. No, it's just funny. <laughs> Oh, Corellia, that's a good Ooh. one. Uh, yeah. Oh, Paradia is a new planet in Ahsoka. That is Pretty so cool. Okay. Darth Gallum is saying question. You said Corellia, but you can't answer our dong question, Darth Gallum. <laughs> that's probably a big lag or something. Oh. Uh -huh. So I'll put Paridia in. Does Jeremy promise to talk Star Wars this week? Then I suppose. So is, it, is that a blessing? Well, we're talking about Star Wars right now. We're, we'd be interrupting the Star Wars talking. I'll be quick. We're trying right. to do the dong thing. Here's the dong story. Am I muted? No, am I muted? No, my headset. Yeah, headset. you are muted. It sounds like. Am yeah. I muted? I think I think Dave I think Dave took the initiative until we get what? So Darth Gallon, we we need we need a concrete confirmation that we're going to pivot from this. I can't for be how muted. Long Jeremy's back. tangent is going to take. <laughs> it's going to be ten seconds. I, I, I'm just, uh, this is, I'm, I'm just waiting, waiting for Darth Gallon to give full confirmation. This is the Star Wars thing we're talking about this week. Yes. If you're happy to delay that. Okay. I, I got okay. permission. Right, you got 10 You've seconds gotten, and then you're getting muted. The blessing. On your marks, get set, go. Okay, so here's the deal. I was talking about Dong at work and I mistakenly called it Korean money, which is actually <laughs> Wan. So if you had Wan and Vietnamese money, you'd have Wan Dong. That's it. That's the whole story. That's it. That's all I wanted to get off my chest. But I was like talking about it. I was like, it's Korean money. And they're like, no, it, that's, it's Korean is Wan. Vietnam, Vietnamese, Vietnamese is Dong. Yes. So if you had Korean and Vietnamese money, you'd have Wan Dong. <laughs> that's all I wanted to say. When I get paid, I got many Dong. <laughs> you would get paid in a lot of Dong. All right. <sighs> I feel so much better. It's like a right, balloon so on the verge of popping. Be, are we closing submissions? Uh, 30 God, seconds. Man, <laughs> all that for this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Vree Dog. <laughs> I had to. Yes, Steve. I just had to get that dog off my chest. See, I, tr I tried to keep us on task. Uh, I cannot say that I didn't. Funny. Uh, so Kessel says. Wait, Terrace? Terrace. Okay, is Terrace actually think I know, I know TARDIS is a Doctor Who thing. Is this an actual place or am I getting bamboozled? Again? <laughs> well, Builders Mark, at least Kara's not over here talking about weed delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that story, is Chris? an urban planet in the no. fifth orbit of so, its star located in the Terrace system. Uh, in the outer rim, I'm so it is Star Wars. So actually, Kara, if you want to, if you want to double check the places that we don't know while we're doing this, that would be. Excellent. You can take Gallifrey out and put Terrace in there. Well, I already put. Oh, Terrace you did. In. Okay. Hello, so we'll Artemis rank, Rose. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just rank Gallifrey. Like Artemis Rose knows what's in. 
<laughs> What's up? You can bang enter and chat. We'll be given a roll of polymaker, and then if something hits on the wheel, we'll be given a roll away of that or oh, whatever. We, oh, we, we do a little wheel spin. Let's do that wheel spin real quick. Did anybody uh, say? Uh, Carrie, you want to hold the wheel? Dagobah. Do we want a hard spin yeah, or a Dagobah light spin? Is on there. Oh, it is on there. Hard or light spin? All right, let's do a light spin. We do hard ones all the time. Are you serious? <laughs> uh, are you uh, serious? <laughs> That's so funny. So w what we should do, we should give away. Hey, Ashley. We should give away a spool of Jeremy's Reserve. Jeremy's Reserve is a lot of partial uh, rolls, I, spools these days. <laughs> I got some rolls of reserve left. So, so here's what we'll do. If, if whoever wins this, if you're happy with waiting a couple of weeks, I'll put in an order for some Jeremy's Reserve stickers. Oh, oh, there you go. So that we don't have to try and get the laser to work. Because like, the laser would have been cool, but it's, it just doesn't seem it's going to do what we want it to do. Right. So. If we wanted to do that, we'd have to like do a very simplified version of it and do like a cartoon of Jeremy, essentially. Not even so, a cartoon. Mm, we're not a oh, you freaking dog. What happened? The the droid cam or not droid cam, but the Insta three hundred and sixty cameras in autofocus. That's why it's doing all this hunting. Oh, thing. I see. Let me. And I don't know how to stop it from doing that, but I just give. I don't know what somebody just. Oh, uh, Ashley resub for thirteen months. There are. There's a bunch oh, of stuff from the beginning of the, of the stream. By the way, that we probably should address. But let me. Are you talking about nurse this. starting? Don't say that. Oh. You are going to go to wheel three from go to earlier settings. Too. I think. What? We go to manual focus. Yep. Braz resubbed. Mm. Pete. That's not how the force works. <laughs> and free dog. So you got four. <laughs> Dude, I can. <laughs> it's like okay, sriracha. That, that looks way better. What company's okay. slogan is we put that blank on everything? Is that sriracha? Or is it is it Frank's Red Hot? It's ah! Or is it Nutella? No, you don't put Nutella on everything. I think it's Frank's. Ow! Chat will tell me. Ow! Look at my head! Oh! I'm getting turned into hamburger! Ah! Oh no! <laughs> Karen's getting turned into mashed potatoes! Ah! Oh, those are spicy! Oh. Whew. Makes the Christmas tree look cool. Yeah. I need to decorate that. Got a ricochet right in the So, nose. guys, we got Good. this for Good. free from a garage sale That's this a summer. tangent that you didn't authorize through chat. We're and here to talk about Star Wars. And the lady told us the lights worked, and the lights do not, in fact, work, and I'm very sad about it. I, I would tree. bet between Jeremy, Cam, and I, we can figure out how to get the lights working. It's probably just it one is, rogue bulb. It is missing two bulbs at the top. Well, put your tongue in there. It'll bypass the circuit. You are the one that like, enjoys shocking yourself. You do it. I didn't say I enjoyed it. I want to talk about. Okay, let's plans. do this. Which ones were we? Were, which ones were we questioning? <laughs> hey, I want to do a shout out for Steve too. Okay, tactile 3D, <laughs> legend among designers. Builders Mark, incredible as always. Vredog, a heck of a 3D printer. Supplied so many toys for the print drive. And then Steve, roll call. Who's ready for Frozen Force? I yeah, am, and I can't yeah. wait. Oh, yeah. Just hey, wanted to I'll do a show. Yay, yeah, yeah. you will be there. You will be. Okay, let's talk about Star Wars. Darth Gallum, this is what you get for letting us sidetrack. I'm totally kidding. Um, Cam's okay. ankle is going to be there. Oh, I want to do a shout out to Cam's ankle, too. Cam's ankle is the one, as a Christmas present, gave us the pancake, pancake bot. robot. It's literally called a pancake I know, but bot. I want to call it a pancake, pancake robot. Pancake <laughs> robot, come right. and get a mother hot. Here we go. So, so we'll... F <laughs> <laughs> just saying, that's how you test to see if stuff's, you know, turned on or not. If there's a current, you just put your tongue in there. <sighs> You're so funny. Okay. All right, so we're, we're, we'll just sort of start... Start Nell Hutta, home of the huts. Okay, so, all right, I'm going to need help. What is Nell Hutta like? Okay, it's swampy. So remember when Zero is running away from like, that's Nell Hutta? It's like purplish. Yeah, yeah, like a gas bubble. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's Hello, trains are cool. We had a planet full of huts farting all the time, and that's oh, Nell Hutta. I'm Let's gonna put give that, that a, a big old D. E. No, 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 no. It deserves some credit. 
If there was an F, it should be F for farts. No, no, with the right (laughs) filtration, it would be insane to go to visit Nelhada. Okay, I kind of want to, let's see if there's a picture. I want to see it now. Why do I keep saying Nelhada? Some people on the outer rim call it Jeremy's crack. (laughs) (laughs) It doesn't even look pleasant. Let me see. It literally is like this greeny yellow. I bet you it smells over. like hard boiled eggs. It probably does. Do you really want a vacation there? Well, with the right filtration no, system. It, but look at the color. Like that does, does that. It looks like post apocalyptic. Oh, yeah, you you want can't see shots of that place, Jeremy. Sure. Imagine living in a sepia movie. That's oh, what it would I'm, be I'm like. I'm trying to zoom in on the. Oh. Oh. It's like a sepia movie, guys. See, is it? It's sepia, isn't it? I believe it's sepia. We, no. we can see the brown from here anyway. It's like orangey green yellow. All right. Chat, <laughs> let us know if you'd want to visit Nell Hutta. All I right. wouldn't. If Jeremy Next came planet. up to me and was like, hey, Kara, do you want to go on vacation in Nell Hutta? I'd be like, the no. Huts are, the huts are going to pay us to visit. I don't care. A lot of buy Felucia jokes. How many credits through. would you need to? Uh, to All visit? the credits. <laughs> I want enough credits right. to buy Coruscant. I'm what if Jabba wanted to hire you to work for him? No. Would you work for him? How many no. credits would it take? All the credits. No, we're not talking Slave Leia here. We're talking uh, C-3PO, you're- Protocol Droid Repairman. How horrible would that be? You're just, you're, you're if Jabba. If one day Jabba was like, eh, I'm sick of you, Kara. Rancor. He would never do that. Are you sure? Uh, 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 Jeremy, this is Kara we're talking about. <laughs> She's Fire Nation Heather. <laughs> He'd probably put her in charge of the rain corps. You're so funny. She probably works the door that opens it. You're so funny. And deliver he the frogs. literally fed Ula to... She's yeah, a she collect. Collect. She's not a human. Montrells. But she's like she's like a, a a dancer for him. She was naked. She wasn't naked. She was naked. She wasn't naked. She was naked. Do what All right. What's can the next everybody planet? confirm Alicia. that she was? I mean, she may have had mesh on top, but she was naked. And she, I think she had like a super low V cut. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a V-cut, like it was a plunge top. cut. Do I, do we have to look this up? <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. Is it okay if we tangent if the tangent is what's about it, Star Wars? Well, no, this is Star Wars related, at least. I forgot. What's your name? Ula. Oh. O-O-L-A. Brad had an epic dig, Kara. What do you say? You would live on Nalhada if there was a Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it was a good one. Yeah, that's totally it. She's not naked. That is mesh. I agree 100% with Chris. That is mesh. No, I agree. It is that, mesh. That, that's, just, that's a deep V cut. <laughs> totally fine. Okay. Let's, there, there's some interesting images happening in here. <laughs> <laughs> Risky click of the day is I'm right. just saying that is not Chris, a solid piece of material. Why is that link purple? Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Safe search blurring is on, yo. <laughs> oh, that would be the funniest uh, thing. That, what a way to dox yourself. <laughs> All right, we're on to Felucia. <laughs> okay, so what is this place again? This is the Clone War battle, I think. I think this is with uh, Krell. Uh, is this the Mushroom Planet? General Krell. Pong Crow, uh, the one that to, turned all the. Here? We have to. I yes. think I think this is the the planet. Pong Crow, you're thinking. I think where he God turned all the clones Tri-Claw. against each other. It was a plunge, when she fell into the rain core. Maybe am I thinking the right place? <laughs> is that right, Jeremy? Oh wait 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 wait. I is think that that's Felucia? yeah. I think it's the it's from that is that is the. When Pong Krell turned, the general turned all the clones against each other. And there's a one clone farmer then? Or I, think a one. I think that's a different one, okay. maybe? Who suggested Felucia? I think it was Steve. A bunch of people did. did oh, they did really? they? I'm pretty sure it's, tell us if we're wrong. Brad says it's with all the glowing plants. It looks like. Oh, you know oh Pong Krell was oh, on Pong Umbar. Krell. Thank you. Are 100% you. Okay. correct, okay. Steve Carbo. Yep, that was Umbara. Because they're Umbaran yep. fighters, and yep. they jack the Umbaran yeah. shit. You know, that, that... Was Felucia the planet... Makes me so sad. ...in the very first episode? No, because that was Toydaria. I'm, I'm 99% sure it was from the, the, the Clone Wars movie, when they're, like, when the first time Anakin and... 
Ahsoka uh, meat. Ahsoka or like. No, yeah, that's Christophsis. Like no, that's is Christophsis. I thought that was Christophsis. All right, now we gotta go. <laughs> Guys, oh. I know a lot of the other planets. Everybody, I do, I do. Steve, I was right. Is Christophsis? Yeah. Oh, Which one? Oh. Uh, the for the when jungle, Anakin it's and a Jungle Planet. Hold on. It's a jungle planet in the Outer Rim. It's headquarters of the Commerce Guild. Its primary agricultural export was the crop of Nicillin, which is largely farmed by the native Felucian so tribe. It's the mushroom planet. Okay. That's not how the force works. <laughs> that soundboard is dope. I All right. It. So, where are we going to. Okay, mushroom planet, where are we going to rank? This? Extremely exotic. Love it. Love to visit. B. Okay. Reminds me of the Mario agree. It movie. seems like it might be a little bit humid for me, but I, I definitely check it out. It's like it's like Space Florida. Here's the thing. It's if Space it, Florida. If it's humid. Disney's going to open a park there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, like, it, at the right temperature, humidity can be fine. You know what? At we, the that, right that temperature. Chat, chat, we failed on the amount of planets. We didn't name Lothal. You're right. Um, we didn't name that, this is Chad's fault. This is not our fault. You, you didn't name they had one job. Ilum. Nobody True. said Ilum. No, he said Christophsis. Nobody said Jakku. Yeah, they did. Jakku's no, on, on there. Jakku's on there. Yeah, it's right by D. So, I we, wasn't we, paying we'll, attention. We'll, we'll, I apologize. We'll smack talk to Jeremy, just hold on. Let's finish rating these. Okay. Then we can talk smack. Oh, Darth Gallum says Lethal was in chat. <gasps> we yes. are so sorry, I, I chat. You, I, no, no, we're not sorry. You have, you, have to, <laughs> you have to make your voice heard in chat. That's not on us to make sure that it's all red. It's on you to make sure that it comes in. You need okay. to highlight. Hype, hype, <laughs> you do hype, hype, hype. The name of the planet, then hype, hype, hype. <laughs> or the thing for each week. Okay, let's just Acto. go to the Hoth. Yeah. Um, uh, e. No, no, yes, no. Let's yes, think yes, about yes. this for a minute. Jeremy, how many Hold times on. doing... Like Norway and Sweden and going People do, like but that. do we? I, okay. I cannot tell you how often I hear from Jeremy. I hate the cold. No, oh, hold on. Every oh, single a winter. The soda cold and Hoth cold. The though. behind the, cold is the Hoth sea. Hoth. Um, I'm pretty sure Hoth cold. They weren't expecting Han to make it to save Luke and back. Yeah, You're not going like to make it past the whatever marker. Okay, hold on. Top of A. Hold on. <laughs> Nadag. The behind the scenes storytelling for when they filmed the Hoth stuff when they were in Norway. Jeremy, we're talking about Hoth. Mind blowing. We're talking about Canon can Hoth. I, 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 yeah. I agree that you're correct. So we're can talking and, about. Canon Hoth, where are you putting it? It's uh, with how cold it is. I am sticking that down. And eat. okay, okay. I know this is. I'm just trying to capitalize in my own brain of compare. People like to visit Antarctica, right? Do they you? Do? Would you? People I mean, don't like to visit Antarctica. Scientists go there to study <laughs> things. I actually know a few people who have gone there on vacation. Well, you know, <laughs> they're weird. Yeah, you're not wrong. I am willing to put this as D, Jeremy. Take it or leave it. I was gonna go with C. Uh, no, no, no. C, C I would say D cold. or E. C no. for cold. D for death. No, C for cold. No, no. Hot. Do not C put it. C for no, cold. No, D. I would visit Chris, it. Chris, here's the thing. You and I, it's two against one. Jeremy can suck an egg. Dave, you're here. You're valued. You're a member of this show. Dave, would you want a vacation to Hoth? No, I hate the cold. Boom. Dang it. Suck it. <laughs> Fine. Hoth can take the D. <laughs> All right. Since, since we're here, Jack who? Uh, okay, now. It's got sinkholes. It doesn't. That sinkholes. will swallow a TIE fighter. Okay, first of all, it's where the First Order really originated from. Okay? You have Hux, and uh, who's the General Empire from the Aftermath books? The female crazy <laughs> lady. Price? No. No, she's from Rebels. <laughs> Anyways, there was a giant power grab. It's where Ray is like uh, subsided. You got it's where the Millennium Falcon spent a bunch of time. Jakku C. Cool if you're like a World War II history buff. You're a Star Wars buff. <laughs> you're it's like the cars who get lost and they end up in Route 66. Keep going, just keep going. It's like it's cool to visit, but you know, C. It's Route 66 of Star Wars. Really? You would right. want to vacation there? I would want to see it. I'm a history guy. I, if I, I was like a Star Wars I, I citizen, just above Hoth. Yeah. 
I think that's fair. Jeremy's like, he's going to be going looking at all the things, and all of a sudden he's going to go whoop, right down into one of those sand sinkholes. It's probably one of those places that's really cheap. Probably because nobody wants to go there. Yes, it's Leo. Like on vacation in Wyoming. Leo said if he could ice fish on Hoth, could you imagine the um, fish you would catch on Hoth? They'd probably just bite the okay, ice. Okay, here's the thing. You. Have we seen any lakes on Hoth? There's ice. That means there's water. Yeah, probably 100 foot thick ice. Yeah, there ain't that no fish. That means there's probably 100 foot Can thick fish. Can you imagine catching a fish 100 feet down being like reeling, reeling? Really? Well, you'd, prob- you'd probably have some sort of like a, a fishing protocol. Thank you, Steve. Here's what would happen. Here's what happened. Because the fish is wet, it would end up sticking to the ice. <laughs> Steve <laughs> wants to try that yummy, puffy, reconstructed bread. <laughs> oh, that sounds gross. No, you just use a lightsaber. You Come would on. need essentially like an oil drill an in order to get through drill. the ice. You guys are being facetious. What? Okay. No, no, no. We've <laughs> done Jakku. Next planet. <sighs> What are we doing right, next? Corellia um, is sniffing too close to the actual list, so let's just yeah, rate let's, it. Let's, let's, let's nest not get out of the way here. So Corellia, that is where the Millennium Falcon was made. That's where Han Solo is originally from. Yeah, and it looks like yep. a hot piece of garbage. No, no, no. It's a normal planet. It. I, I would say it'd be it'd be like going to vacation in like Detroit. Um, Detroit. Because that's oh, where yeah, the, that's Motor City. Like Corellia, Corellia is Detroit. It's Detroit. You're, you're I can tell right. you that Flint Detroit is right down the road. They're drinking lead water. <laughs> <laughs> Corellia. A bunch of times, Flint's fine. I can tell you that uh, Detroit's not even in my top ten places to visit. I would visit Detroit. Go is it Detroit? in your top ten? Detroit's sick. Uh, but it's not in my top you ten. You can go to Detroit for like twenty five bucks. Yeah, exactly. Jeremy's like that. Sounds like a vacation to me. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to say higher than C. Let's put it above Batu. Well, Batu is not even on the list. We haven't Batu yet. Well, let's put it in C. C for Corellia. There, that looks good. Right where you have it, Chris is good. <laughs> Cam's ankle says D for Detroit. <laughs> but move, eat Batu. You would not get right. mugged there. Detroit's fine. Just don't go to the. So there's Detroit proper. Then there's like the first ring of suburbs. That's where you don't want to be. And then there's like the outer suburbs, which is like where the billionaires are. <laughs> Got it. You know the Detroit metro area extends all the way to Flint. Does it really? Uh, Holy yeah, cow! Flint is, Flint's like forty minutes south of me. D- Detroit proper is like an hour and forty minutes south of me. Wow. It's humongous. It, the, every, what's considered a Detroit metro is massive. Wait, eight miles Insane. from Detroit? Is that where? It's, yeah, there's yeah. an eight mile road. That's the top edge of Detroit. <laughs> what? Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> no way. It's just a road. It's nothing special about it. It's it's not a road. It's a rock. <laughs> Pioneers just, used to ride these babies for miles. Okay, next planet. Keep us on track here. Should we do Batu uh, since it's in the you list, know. but we haven't oh, actually oh, said anything? Yet? Okay, yeah, Batu. So remind me that I, is my brain isn't working. Batu is Galaxy's Edge. Galaxy's Edge, baby. Oh hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do I want to go there in January? Yes, I do. Uh, Chris, right? Yep. A, A, B, A minus B plus. Does that seem about right? Like it is a little bit run down, like obviously intentionally, but like. But boy, do I love it. Run mm. juice. You get your robot um, okay. frying your, okay. your meat. Can we talk about Melu run juice for one second? Did Brownie have mom's um, spaghetti? When we Dark went. Dark Gallum, you're going next week to Batu. <gasps> oh, no, no. Are you going to Detroit or to Batu? <laughs> it's got to be Batu. I'm really hoping Detroit- Batu. Let's put our put our. Should we start a predict? Hold on, Matter is about to get a drop. He's gonna get a drop. Start a prediction. Oh, Matter you made it in. It's bad. It's Darth Gallum. Why do you think Mister Star Wars talk would be going to Detroit? There might be something going on Star Wars in Detroit. I mean, maybe. Okay, but when we went to Disneyland in 2019, I was in love with the Melu Run juice. When we went last spring. It was not great. Did they change you know the what recipe? Was great? What? Blue milk and green milk. Blue milk was better. Green well, milk I, was okay, but blue milk was blue better. Blue milk is, is really good. Mm-hmm. He didn't have it straight from the boob, though. <laughs> <laughs> not like Mark. Oh, you guys, did you know um, his daughter was at San Francisco Expo? And people were taking pictures with her and didn't realize. And then she posted a bunch of pictures to her Instagram story. And, That's awesome. Yeah. 
And he then she, is, she saw her dad. Oh, like, okay, so it is. He is going to bed. Oh, nice, Darth Gallum. That'll be fun. That's uh, gonna be amazing. Yeah, you're gonna do a lot of chaperoning when you just veer off and just get stuck <laughs> at galaxies. I know you'll be like, "Hey, yeah. peace out, daughter. Love you. Have fun. Bye." <laughs> you get to have to have a good life. <laughs> All right, Camino. Oh man, a hey, I would love to see Camino. Mm-hmm. Imagine I, if I, you guys. <laughs> 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 what? That's pretty funny, Brad. That's a hundred percent accurate. I want to go to bed too for the roasted glizzy. Um, oh my gosh! Glizzy. Uh, you guys, here's what I picture coming into Cam- Camino, and I just blaring Pirates of the Caribbean theme music. Dun, 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 oh, dun, dun, yeah. dun, and then there's the ships. In. Camino is really cool. And imagine meeting the Cam- Camionians. Camino- Caminoans. Caminoans. That would be sick. A I think Camino would be pretty cool, but I don't know if it's A or I mean, B for me. I'd go to see the clones. <laughs> of course. <laughs> let's, let's, let's imagine that there's nothing to do with clones. There. Oh, I guess uh, the whole place is built around cloning, but I guess. Ha, Chris, Chris, that is kind of funny. It's debatable. Is it, is it Camino <laughs> post spoilers post what happens in Bad Bad? So, no, I'm a huge fanboy, so I want to say you're visiting these places at the time that you would that You would, you would so, want like, to meet in them? In me, I'd be like them? at the height of the Clone Wars, and it would be incredible to go there and see like the military operation. Imagine seeing the march and a million more and a well on the way. You have this sleek gliding Kaminoans. <laughs> What if you were there when Obi Wan and oh man, Django are fighting? Oh man, I would woo the poop out of Obi Wan. Well, hello there, Kara says. Are we okay with the Camino being A? Yeah, yeah, A minus is fine. There's room to put stuff above it. Okay, so yeah, then I mean we we can always make subtle adjustments. So I want to ruin your business. And you didn't allow Endor, but isn't Yavin um the Hoth Rebel base is on a moon of Yavin? So the the base is on the moon of Yavin Four. Okay. Yavin itself is a planet. So we got to see what Yavin looks like, and not Yavin's moon. Yavin Four's yes. moon. Triclaw, you are not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kara looked happier in her picture with you and McGregor than no, at our sure wedding Yavin photos. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, I want to see what a picture of Yavin looks like. Hmm. Let's see. Dark Gallum says Yavin 4 is a planet and it has the ancient. Oh, it's well, pretty. Let me, let me check. Wait, yeah, Yavin has all the pretty um, ancient ruins and stuff like that. Oh, wait, it, wait, 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 wait. So hold on. I would totally visit Yavin. I feel like going to visit. Yavin 4, also known as Yavin, is a jungle. Is a, it is a moon. Yeah. Disqualify. If you read down further, Yavin is a gas planet. So in my mind, just for the record, Yavin is the nice place where the rebel base was. Yavin for Yavin, moon, no, moon Yavin. It, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Just, let's, I'll just pull the thing up. Let's read this together. We'll read through all this together. Come on, freaking thing. Steve okay. is saying Yavin is not a planet. Yavin 4, also known as Yavin, was the jungle-covered fourth moon in orbit around the red gas giant Yavin Prime. Got it. So, okay, Prime, we're talking about... So, so we get both Yavin 4 and Yavin refer to the moon disqualified. Are we talking about Yavin Prime, or are we talking about Yavin? No, the, suggested was Yavin. Is this street... Which is the, both Yavin and Yavin 4 refer to a moon. Yavin is disqualified. But whoever recommended it, did they mean Yavin Prime? No, they meant Yavin okay. 4. They meant still the Yavin base. Prime gas. So Jeremy started the planet, is what you're saying. You're so funny. <laughs> I didn't start the planet. Uh, I'll end the ball. Make Jeremy one right flew now. past. He was like, and there it was. A new planet was born. You're so funny. <laughs> oh, okay. you're so funny. I'm Darth Gallum. <laughs> um, Scarif, I 1,000% would go to. Like, Scarif is S tier to me. Yes. Like, oh, that water. The beautiful palm trees and beaches. But it's like <laughs> if Aruba was a planet. Yep. Can somebody check. Because I want to say that Scarif is also a moon. Oh, my God. I, okay, I'll check. <laughs> it better not be because I want to go there. I feel like it's a moon. It says world. <laughs> Scarif is a remote tropical planet. Boom. Planet. All right, fine. Yes. Then I would put it at the top of the list. Oceans, rocky archipelago, archipelagos. 
So, I'm going to have sandy beaches, verdant jungles, volcanic island chains. So, the whole planet's Hawaii. Let's just say I'm going to go yeah. there with Obi Wan. You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, what was really Jeremy, cool. Jeremy's going to be ice fishing by himself on Hoth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Jeremy's like, Kara, you want to go to Hoth for vacation? And Obi Wan will be like, hello there. You want to go to Scarif with me? And I'll be like, boy. Um. If you wait long enough, Scarif will just look, Scarif will just look like Mustafar someday because all the volcanoes will take over. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I'll, I'll enjoy it while it's beautiful. I just want to reflect on Rogue One for just a minute with how beautiful it was to see Scarif and to see the AT-ATs with the doors, like the cargo ones. Mm -hmm. So sick. Bodhi Rook. Um, the, like all of the scenes. Uh, we need to rewatch Rogue Jared One. It's Imwe been a minute. and Base Malbus. Or Base, Base Malbus. Malbus. Like... Oh, I was the Melbus. I was one with the forest, and the forest was with me. And then those grenades, the the dwang, the death troopers grenades. That was just nitty gritty, awesome beach fighting. Yeah, Scarif, dope squad. I yeah, mean, and, and thank and you, Joe Brad. Dong blocked the whole time. Here's yeah. the thing. I'm he pretty had sure something he with Duchess Satine. I went right there. I yeah, right Kira is no Satine. He, he looked the other way for Anakin because he couldn't, you know, throw stones from a glass house or something. <laughs> so kettles and pots, and he couldn't <laughs> throw. So kettles and pots, and he couldn't throw. You guys know all of the sayings. Like, he's not dumb. He knows Anakin's got a baby. Oh, yeah. Like, he wasn't shocked when Padme was pregnant. Like, <laughs> Did you guys ever see the cartoon where um, the droid that gave birth, like, that was working with Padme, he had, like, medical malpractice, and he accidentally killed her. But then he tells Obi-Wan, yeah, it was, uh, uh, it was a broken heart. <laughs> he didn't want to get sued for medical malpractice. <laughs> Oh, oh boy! Funny. Okay, what next? Peridia. I'll take that, oh. Steve. <laughs> All right. So oh, okay, dang, he's Peridia. not wrong. <laughs> Jedi can be bad, I guess. Or they can. Uh... All right. Remind me of what. Peridia, oh, Peridia is, the, is that? That's the planet from that, uh, Ahsoka. The, yeah. Um. It looked cool. I, I'd put between it somewhere between Ke and Beach Yeah, here. I was going to say between Camino and Batu. Sure. Yeah, Cam, you know. <laughs> I mean, it, it reminds me, honestly, like the um, the terrain reminds me a little bit of like Countryside England. Um, or okay. I was going to say Countryside England, or there was some pink flowery trees like the uh, petal festivals in Japan. Okay. Yeah, Mount Fiji, stuff like that. And the oceans were so beautiful. Oh, man. Canto Bite is Las Vegas. Where do we want? Where do we want to put Las Vegas? Vegas is fun. Here's the thing. Canto Bite was like disgusting with wealth corruption, and is the stupid Vegas not disgusting with wealth corruption. <sighs> I don't know. You can find. I'm gonna lower Canto Bite to a C or a D because of how dumb the parking rules were. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they got their ship towed and they got in trouble. They got thrown in jail. You know, what? I and forgot they, about that. I agree. Is it, Karen, do you do you want to make a case for Canto Bite being nope, higher than C or B? You're good. Mode? That's. I feel like all the people there are just like. I know it was too uppity. You don't belong here. And then just because they parked wrong, they get stuck in jail with Licky Fingers Sly Guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Mortis. I just looked it up. Mortis is an ethereal realm within the Force. Okay, can we visit? It, it is, is it not, is not a, planet. a planet. It okay. is an ethereal realm. Right. Sorry. All right, Bespin. We know Brad thinks Bespin's A tier. Bespin's not a moon. We, I mean, here's the thing: if you get shot out of, out of the uh, garbage chute, you are going straight into nothingness and if die. If you're doing on vacation leads you into a garbage chute, you <laughs> probably deserve it. If you go on vacation with Jeremy, you never so, know what's going to happen. <laughs> so, Scarif would be beautiful to see because it's tropical. It's Hawaii. Uh, Camino would be cool because they're making clones. All Bespin's doing is harvesting gas. <laughs> In other words, they have Jeremy hooked up to a hose. <laughs> yeah. So what are you? Are you, are you no, down no, here? no, 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 no. It's, it's like a C. It's pretty. It's, you know, whatever. Yeah, like the, cl the clouds would hey, be DMAT. pretty. How's it going? But like generally people don't go touring. Man I mean, they do. But manufact going touring manufacturing places isn't as popular. Yeah. Meh. Yeah, but low C. Would you rather go to Cantobite or Bespin? 
Bespin. Really? Canto okay. Bite makes me angry. Would you rather go to Corellia or Bespin? Corellia. Okay, so put it between Canto Bite and Corellia. Way to use process of elimination. Boom! That's how I roll, yo. Uh, yeah, stick it after Corellia there, because then. Bear Jew says, "Isn't Bespin a giant gas planet?" Yes. Yeah, it, but Darkest it is Nights. a planet, and you can't visit it. Darkest Nights, how are you doing? Wait, Steve Carbo says pretty looks terrible. Rocky Wasteland. <laughs> Depending wait, on where you wait. Oh wait, what's happening? What's some, happening? I missed some good chat. Steve Carbo says he Andy Mooney like personally repopulated his own planet. We need to talk about. Oh, this. that's right! I forgot about that. How did you even Whoa. know? Were yeah. you reading romance novels over there? <laughs> I'm reading Star Wars smut here. <laughs> Hold on, where, where's this Andy Mooney thing? Is, no, we go up. I Rocky think, World, I, keep going a little I bit higher I think it was up. like an, a thing I on Instagram. But yeah, Kiari Mundi had no attachments. But yeah, he essentially oh, Whoa. was the one that repopulated like Why yeah, his entire shot? people. So he's like the gang of con of the Jedi. Wait, was it Kiari Mundi or was it... um? I wouldn't... How? That hit my kneecap. <laughs> I wouldn't disqualify... Uh, Steve what Nall. is going what on is this here? Low blow smoke ah! lighting up. Ah! <laughs> what Kendra bites the casino? That's really. I thought that was the name of the planet. Oh, he probably verified before he posted it in. I chat. was going to say if Steve. Anyway, no, it's a Steve. I was trying to see how long it took for you to complain that I was shooting you, soul. <laughs> um. Sub demote. Was it Kiati oh, yeah. Who's who's yeah, can't Plo the coastal city on the desert planet. No, it was Kiati Mundi, right? So desert planet, they even it is Vegas. They literally ripped off Vegas. Real Just original. Just it as Canto so, Bite for vernacular Bite sake. It's uh, disqualified. It is not. Uh, well, you don't want to change it to Canatonica? No, because it was suggested as Canto Bite. Man. We we're, we're we're not in charge of the suggestions, so I'm just disqualifying because Canto Bite is not the name of the planet. Kiati Mundi is basically like the Duggars. <laughs> Burn. Octomom. What's the, what's the Duggars? Uh, just a family that's got a million kids. And they oh. got a lot of shady stuff going on. Real bad things. I did not know okay, that. Okay, Tatooine. I would visit Tatooine. I would Two not. Two sons. No, no. Two sons. Moisture farming. It's cool. People visit Lebanon or um, Tunisia all the time. Yeah, Tunisia. Tu yeah, that place. Yeah, but the, the, I, I would put it only just above Jakku, just because I think Tatooine is more historically significant. But and seeing the two suns, there. I would stay for one night of seeing the two I mean, sunset, and that's it. Honestly, literally, it. that is where Anakin is from. So. Anakin, Darth Vader. I mean, historically, like, if you're a Star Wars, like, if you lived in Star Wars, okay. like, people would want to go see where Darth Vader came from. Here's the thing, though. Like, would you want to go during the time, like, at what point in time then would you want to go to Death Tatooine? Star got blown up. You know, New Republic's in full swing. People are not afraid of doing stuff anymore. You bust out your checkbook, you write out a hollow check, and you go to vacation in Tatooine. I'd go there. You and I have like, very this is where different Vader ideas of was vacations. Born. I'm, I'm going to have to side with Jeremy on this one. It would be cool. Yep. And you get to see it the sand be, people and the cool, Banthas. I don't, I, that's, I, I don't think it puts it that high on my list, though. But you'd be yeah. able to go to the place where there's never been you, more wretched scum and to, villainy. Would you rather go to Corellia or Tatooine? Would you rather go to Batu or Kath, Tatooine? Uh, right? I'd rather go to Batu. Put Tatooine below Corellia, but it's still high on the list. I mean, I think it's almost by definition in the dead center of the list. <laughs> dead center is not bad. I mean. Okay. All right. Alderaan, specifically pre-asteroid um, I hope so. A, up by Scarif. I would go there. It's beautiful. Yeah. It is like. If you read the, like, so in Bloodlines? Or is it Ahsoka, Princess of, or not Ahsoka. Oh, um, Princess, Leia, Leia, Princess Leia of, of Alderaan. Alderaan. They talk about the terrain there and everything, and oh my gosh, I would totally visit that. Yes, Steve Carbo. Beautiful. You see the Banthas and the Dewbacks, and then Brad said, yeah, and Anakin hates the planet, so he hates <laughs> sand because it's coarse and it gets everywhere. Um, It'd be cool to see the pod races. Like, that's that'd be fun, but 
you know. Like the more you mention, okay, okay I'm actually, I'm going to move, I'm moving Tatooine up. Yes, the pod races. It's like a big circuit. What if, what if Sabalba is still racing? I do, like, even, <sighs> okay, in any sport, there are athletes that you don't like, but you have to respect because they're just good at that's it. That's Sabalba. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, I respect He's a ability. cheater. No, no, that's the, it, that's pod racing, baby. It is pod racing. <laughs> it is. Yes for Tatooine. Way to go. Okay. I, I was convinced. Dathomir, Rocky, Cold, Magic Place. Uh, Surprise, Coruscant was behind you. Oh. <laughs> um, if I could stay up in the nice area, I'd put it up there. It's if, got motorcycles. It's a, it's a solid B for me. Yeah. Solid B. Coruscant? Yes. Coruscant's like New York City. Yeah, solid B. I. Would you rather go to Camino or Coruscant? I'd rather go to Coruscant. I'd rather go to Coruscant. Okay, so then it goes A, because you put Camino in A. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with having a bunch of places you'd like to go. Yeah, yeah no, 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 nothing, nothing. Okay, Dathomir. No, C. C or D. Cold, magic rock place. I've been there in Fallen Jedi Survivor. <laughs> And it's scary. It's kind of scary. There's Why zombies. did you want to go to E? Dude, Put there's it zombies. E. Put it in e. There's zombies. Yeah, I, like, I don't want to go somewhere where zombies can kill me. Could you imagine you're like, <laughs> trying to enjoy your Meluron fruit and then you just get zombified? <laughs> that zombies are like... Mm. And there's zombies on one half and then there's Darth Maul on the other. Because the brothers are from there or whatever. Or the, um, mm -hmm. What's Maul's species? I forget. Steve, let us know. I forget their species. Tactile says, is there a Jer is Jeremy a bad person because you want to go to the Mafia planet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. Uh, Brad says they have pod races on Malice there, way better than a crappy sand planet with sand people and gangs who kill you. <laughs> no, you but just gotta go, go okay, hold on. Gangs, those gangs have really slow Here's speed. Here's center you sand people, play. Detroit. It's okay to go there. Then you want to watch out for suburb sand right? people land. And then you can, Dathomir, I think our rain, rain cores come from, where do but, Rathtars come from? Who knows? Han knows. Zabrak. Oh, oh that's my gosh. Right. Octo never made the list, and that's where you get green that's, milk that's and That's on chat. That's not on us. Chat, your job was to I would them. Our job is to rank them. Die to go to Octo for the Porgs, but we'll stay on track. Okay, are we talking Kashyyyk next? Kashyyyk. I'd go there. All of the Wookiees, I'd want to hug every single one. Giant. As they rip mass. off your arms. It's like Kingswood or Redwood Forest in California. It's up there with Scarif and Alderaan with me. Sure. Would I go? Yeah, I'd probably go Kashik before I go to Alderaan. I've been to the Redwood Forest and it was incredible. Yeah, I, I didn't go to Kingswood. I went to the Mirrorwood. But yes, the Redwoods are beautiful. Okay. All right. Taurus. I don't know this? where that is. Okay, let's look it up. We're gonna look it up because we Kira, claim to be Star Wars fans. <laughs> Are we going to catch Cheek on Life Day? Yeah! Uh, it's outer be the Rim. 1970s. Let's see. An urban planet in the fifth orbit of its star located in the Terra system. Uh, orbited for, for moons. During the Mandalorian Wars, Terra served as a crucial rallying point for dissident Jedi who decided to fight against the invading Mandalorian Neo Crusaders. Hmm. Uh, well, so here I am, Star Wars citizen, height of the New Republic. Nobody talked about Harris, so it has Terrace, so it has. It's not on my radar. I can't go there. Give it an E. It is. Terrace was an ecumenopolis, uh, at least in that its land masses were covered uh, in a large said city. It's polluted, so you don't want to go to Terrace. Terrace had an ocean that covered part of, <laughs> part of the planet's surface. The ocean once possessed massive kelp farms that were used to sustain planet's immense population. However, these farms were poisoned by pollution, leading to food yeah. shortages no, in the that cities. Sounds terrible. Terrace. <laughs> yep. It's like right, where coffin Ryloth. fish live. Love to visit Ryloth. To you just want to see the ladies. I, I just want to, you know. I mean, I did say I would go to Camino to see the clones. Yeah, B. B Whatever, for it's fine. It's like I would go to Batu over Ryloth, but I'd still, it like, I'd rather go to. Would you go to Tatooine Ryloth or Ryloth Tatooine? first? I would actually rather see it more than Tatooine. <gasps> what? I'd get a tattoo on Tatooine. <laughs> Don't do that. You could get a good drop there. Nebu definitely uh, put that's A like tier. That's like Italy. Yeah. Yes. Want you to pop see. that sucker up. All the way. Yep. 
I anywhere up. There I would probably fine. go Scarif and then Nabu personally, but I'd probably hit Naboo before Kashyyyk. Oh my gosh, you guys, we could go see the Gungans. We could see Boss Nass. <laughs> you know, you that you were so smart. <laughs> Hello, Philanux. Welcome in. Hi, Philanux. Your hippo picture makes me happy. I love that picture, yep. Philanux's picture. Chris, I mean, how would you, would you, would you, would you want to go see Nabu? Absolutely. The palace of Nabu and then the but all. I think, I think only just slightly less than Kashyyyk. So Can you imagine, imagine fishing Chris, on Nabu? I was going to say, Chris, if I rented us a sub and I'm like, hey, Chris, you want to go do on the sub tour? Would you go on the sub tour? If only he... if we could outrun the bigger fish. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sub are we talking about? It's a bongo. <laughs> right? Is that the name of that fish? Oh, bongo no, fish. That, no, no, no. That's the name. It's goober fish. Oh, goober no, fish. The, Bongo is the name of the ship that they're in. You guys, mm. I do know that people hate Naboo, but the but the gooberfish, gooberfish, yeah. gooberfish, big gooberfish. You mean the Gungans? Nobody I, hates Naboo. They it's the Gungans. Jar Jar. I like I like them. <laughs> big gooberfish. I mean, I love that in Clone Wars. There's the lady Gungan that Jar Jar's like, ooh, you know. I also like when he juggles the plates to distract the separatists. Right, it is funny. Jar Jar is fine in the Clone Wars TV show. All right. I, the Clone Wars TV show did a lot of heavy lifting to fix the prequel. You are it not did. wrong. <laughs> Mon Calamari. Beautiful underwater pipe city. It reminds uh -huh. me of like, I don't know. It's a it's a B A <laughs> to me. A B B B ish. <laughs> I'd honestly probably rather think go. Of any of these places, like I'd, I'd probably put it like about here. -ish. Is it wrong of me if I'd rather go to Mon Calamari over my Ryloth? <gasps> You want to see the fish ladies well, over the I tail want to ladies? see the fish ladies over the Twi'lex. <gasps> so we're going to go like something like this. Yep. I didn't know you liked them fishy. Ha! You better <laughs> watch what you say. Dagobah. <laughs> Thank you for moving on. Okay. <sighs> it's a swamp. People don't really tend to visit. Bayous, people go to see bayous. Omis from Oh my Dead gosh, could you, you imagine you redneck aliens? I was gonna say, could you imagine <laughs> a Dagobah Swamp people show? <laughs> gotta, uh, gotta get them gators. Uh, yeah. Gotta get them gators. Uh. <laughs> I'd watch the show and never go and see it for myself. I would never go there, so it would probably be pretty low. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Do you guys ever want higher or lower than yeah? Uh, I mean it's, it's probably like half range. It probably smells like Nalhada. Philanux, yeah, alligator hunt. I'm telling you, I would watch a Dagobah Swamp people. <laughs> I would too. Oh, they only gave me four credits. It's at least a ten credit gator. Well, that's at least a ten well, credit well, gator. Well, Brad is up. Brad, make your case for Bespin then. Is he mad about Bespin? Yeah, he's like, wow, you guys took a big dump on Bespin. Explain <laughs> to me why Bespin. <laughs> They're is man and manifesting Tybana gas, just blaster gas. What if they had? If they had like a really cool gun range and you could shoot all the blasters and all the colors of the rainbow and everything. But Tabana gas made what? Red, which was like the cheapest gas. It's not even the good gas planet. <laughs> You're not even getting good blasters. That's not even the good I'm serious. <laughs> it's the like E85. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh gosh! Okay, Mandalore at the height of its existence. Still only like Tatooine, Ryloth area for me on the chart. There's still cooler planets like Alderaan or Mandalore, Alderaan, Kashyyyk or Mandalore Prime, Alder or uh, Kashyyyk, <laughs> Alderaan, uh, Naboo <laughs> or Mandalore Prime, Naboo. So like we're thinking kind of this area. That's what for me personally, sure. Yeah. Like Mandalore honestly reminds me it's like Alderaan, Naboo, and Mandalore all would be kind of like the same kind of experience. I feel. Except Mandalore, like, they probably will kill you. Can somebody, Chris, can you do a quick Google search of where Ugnaughts are, like, from or born? Because that's also not a plus for best pin. You'd have to see the Ugnaughts. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. And then, oh, man. When they were playing, like, keep away with C-3PO's head, that made me angry. They're trying Wait, to yeet did you say the... if you go to Bespin, just think of all the ice cream you can get? Yeah, and then get backed up for days. Yeah, they're native to the planet Gestus. Okay, so nothing to do or, with sorry, Bespin. Sorry, Gentees. Nothing Gentees, to do with Bespin. Hmm. All right, Mandalore wrecked. Um, I'm gonna put that pretty low. 
Mando was pretty cool though, but it'd be hard. It'd be like yeah, but it'd be like going like, to see Mad Max's world, Fury exactly. Road. Exactly. Like, it's you just want this that? weird, crazy. It would be like going to Dathomir. I wouldn't want to go there. No. Because it, like I seriously could you imagine? I would not want to run into zombies. I would not want to run into the weird <laughs> robot eye creature that Mando lost to. <laughs> Bread. I would have a harem of Ugnaut chicks. Of course you would. <laughs> he wants to get Ugnaughty. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, what, what ice cream you get from Bespin? What did I miss there? Gas cream. Philanux, I love your comment. <laughs> if you can get that much ice cream, we all know where the gas is coming from. Kara, I want to read this to you. Tatooine used to be a lot more popular with the sun worshippers, but the Tuscan crime is up 14% just this last year. <laughs> Is that like a game reference or something? No, I don't know. Uh, I just funny. appreciate it. That's funny. I like that. Emphasis on the ugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brad, Brad has said nothing that would convince me that yeah. we should adjust Bestman's rating. <laughs> I don't know who. Well, Willow. Willow Hood? Willow. Is, is that like, is that Will Smith's daughter's rapper name? <laughs> I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. Will run. <laughs> I'm curious. Nice now. drop attempt, Pete. Oh, Willow Hood is the guy carrying the ice cream. Stupid. Oh. Stupid. Oh, Artemis Rose underscore moon. Oh, it's going to get a good drop. Boop. Nice. Well, I feel like I need to participate now. All right. Make sure everyone <laughs> is being entered. Chris. Um, the 3D portion, the 3D printing portion of this podcast has been brought to you by Polymaker. Polymaker, according to Loyal Moses, the largest filament manufacturer in the world. Is mm -hmm. that true, Builders Mark? Are they the oh, biggest? Oh, Scarbo, you absolute dunce. What? what? <laughs> he knocked me out of the freaking oh, thing. did he really? <laughs> yes. Oh. oh. Ooh. Yep, so those Mark said they are. Solid. Nostalgic Star Wars moments tonight. I, I gotta say, I, I've never used a finer filament than Polymaker, personally. I've been touting their brilliance for years, not being paid to do so. So, Yep. I appreciate that even though we're the little guy, they're still willing to sponsor us. Yep. I we gotta message Polymaker Nick and see if we can get him on the stream. Just for a night. Hang out with us. We'll talk 3D printing. Wait, here? Chop it up. No, well, not physically in person. Oh, I was like, hot oh, dang, boy. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's quite the trip. <laughs> yeah, flying in from China or whatever. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any other. So, okay, so just to, just to wrap up. So this is the official vacation tier list of planets from the Star Wars universe. Nice. As suggested by Chad and as ranked by us. <laughs> so... When you're planning your vacation in your mind next year, know that Scarif should be your number one choice. Chris, for the audio listeners, Brad, I'll you... go on my honeymoon with my Ugnaughts <laughs> on Bestman. <laughs> oh yeah, you'd be going gosh. there to see all their <laughs> Ugnaught relatives, all their in-laws. <laughs> and then you'd be just like Lord of the Rings when you say, hi, Uncle Ugnaught. It's like, oh, no, the, the, uh, the women have beards, too. Right? Like Lord of the Rings? That's my wife. <laughs> yeah. What? Is exactly. it in Lord of the Rings? Because all dwarves have beards in Lord oh. of the Rings. And he's like, that's a woman or something. It, She's got a beard. Is that, I think that was in Rings of Power, wasn't it? No. It wasn't no, in, it was it in was one wasn't, of the Lord of the Rings that, I swear somebody commented, and he's like, oh, and he's like, that's my wife. Didn't Gimli say it about somebody or something? Like, what a nice... No. There's, I, there's I, this... I feel like they're walking the lines of Morgan, they're talking about like one of the statues or something, and it's like, that's no man, or whatever. I'm like, he's referencing like a statue of somebody with a big beard. I'm like, what a beard is like, that's a woman. Thank beard. you, Chris. Thank you. Jeremy, we're either getting, we're getting uh, Mandela, Mandela affected, affected together. I definitely think you're getting Mandela no, affected. No, it's worse because chat split. Steve says it was in Lord of the Rings and somebody else said Philanux says Rings of Power. Okay, because, yeah. I, there's the scene where they're walking to Helm's Deep and <laughs> Gimli's talking about how there's the... The um, rumor that all women have, or maybe or, that's what I'm thinking. And of. then Aragorn looks over and he looks at Eowyn. He's like, "It's the beards." Yes, that I think yeah. is what okay, I'm so thinking yeah, of. So, uh, that's, I think yeah, yeah, there I you go. But there's no like, 
Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. That's my wife. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, I love John Rice Daisy. He's like, Everybody, too, check out this is completely random. Check out Dial of Destiny is now. If you haven't seen the new Indiana Jones movie, it's on Disney Plus. We actually didn't mind it. I loved didn't mind it. I really I liked it. Mm hmm. You guys went to Duluth on your honeymoon, so not sure. Hold on. We Technically, we go. went on a cruise. We went on a cruise for our honeymoon, yo. Mm. We took a mini moon to Duluth. Even though we. That's no mini moon. <laughs> Bearded ladies. I watched. What DOD right before this? What's DOD? Uh, Department of Defense. DOD. What's DOD? Why don't I know what DOD is? I, uh, <sighs> Duluth has crews. Yeah, they do actually. They actually yeah, and do. They and they are expensive. Like oh, Dial of Destiny. That's a good movie. Oh, I thought yeah. they already canceled them. I they might have. I like think they one did. Or two and they're done. Yeah, it was like it was ridiculously expensive just for like the basic rooms and stuff. I enjoyed DOD and it's got hold on. Pear Mads Mads did you Mikkelsen. really? Is that correct, Chris? Yes. Yes! I didn't reverse him this time. <laughs> Lars is Thrawn. Mads is Casino Royale slash Dial of Destiny villain. Correct. Yes! I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we uh, call a cruise Subsector, up here in welcome you in. Go for a cruise out on the lake there. <laughs> Subsector, we were just rating the best places uh, to travel to in Star Wars. Yeah, if you, if you didn't see the list, his there's list our list oh, plan for our uh, audio under control. Situation normal <laughs> for her audio listeners. The official list in somewhat of a top to bottom order: Scarif, Kashyyyk, Naboo, Alderaan. Coruscant, Camino, Peridia, Mon Calamari, Batu, Tatooine, Ryloth, Volusia, Mandalore in its prime, Corellia, Bespin, Jakku, Hoth, Dagobah, Nalhutta, Mandalore, not in its prime, <laughs> Dothmir to get eaten by zombies, and Terrace. Taurus? Terrace. Terrace? Like Paris with a T. So... <laughs> <sighs> I think we did about as good a job as we could. I, I really want to readdress. So at the beginning of the stream tonight, so we I had my we had my holiday work holiday party tonight. That's why we just kicked everything back an hour. Um, and we came down here, and the stream machine was blue screen of deathing. It was b sodding mm -hmm, because of mm -hmm, a stupid mm -hmm. driver update that corrupted Windows. So I am like beyond happy that we didn't lose everything. Mm -hmm. So that's why we ended up starting late. All right, yeah. Chris, do you want to draw for the giveaway and then we'll wrap up? Well, so the giveaway and then, so this is the, the, the Jeremy's reserve giveaway will be first. I was like, we have two giveaways oh, to do. I forgot about that. Yep. Jeremy's like, dang it. I thought, they, thought everyone forgot. Dang it. <laughs> DMAT. DMAT, are you here what? for a roll? Jeremy's reserve. Are you here? Congratulations. RJ, no one wins more than you, I swear. <laughs> yeah. I watched this and I watched Loyal and it's like, yes, Darth Galva. I was going <laughs> to wanted to do one D more wheel spin. D there he is. You won a spool of Jeremy's reserve filament. And your comment came in while we were still green. Hey, hey, hey. All right. All right. give her a rip? Yep. Let's do a fast one. Give away. Give away, give away. Are you serious? <laughs> Darth Gallum. Darth Gallum. I can't believe you. <sighs> hey, ugly moo. We're just in the giving mood. I don't know, D Matt, did this. you? Did D Matt win oh, a school? Do do a, like fifteen dollar Amazon gift card. Sure, we'll do that. Yeah, let's do it. All right, do you want to do that first? The polymaker. Polymaker next, and then we'll do the gift card at the end. Nice. So this right, is polymaker. polymaker. Ha! Now. Give away some of Kara's reserve. Tactile. <laughs> Tactile three D. Are you here? You won the polymaker filament. I'm assuming it works because I'm gonna guess you're from another country. Tactile. Oh, yeah. But I think it works because there's a store. What happens when you win on Loyal's 
I think it was just the Christmas I think he stuff g- that you couldn't give away. I think he gets a coupon, though, for the store. Mm-hmm. You can't get it. All right. I can't get it. Okay, that's uh, that's so, what's curious because there's some people like so we. Like, I think we're I can. Eligible to win Polymaker filament from other people's streams in case you were curious. I will hook you up with something tactile. Uh, I will message you and I can do like a gift card, a fifteen dollar gift card. I was gonna oh, say, should he's we? A Polymaker ambassador. I'll do like a fifteen dollar. Is there like a Jake's three D printing store or a? I think I've done this before. I was like, should we just give tactile the? Yeah, the let's just Amazon switch. gift card. I'll hook you up with something tactile. Well, yeah, so the, I think Amazon gift card's fine. We'll just switch that, and then we'll just drop the polymaker again. Okay. Okay. You, you have to wait until it's not red, or does it? No, red is done. So. Oh, you can draw when it's red? Oh, Artemis Rose Moon. Do you 3D print? You just won a roll of polymaker filament. Woohoo! Congratulations. Here, gotta say hi, or say bye. Or Are you here, do a drop, Artemis Rose Moon? A drop. Whoop, whoop. Do you 3D oh, print? So do you 3D print? Come on. Or do you know trains someone that... Trains are cool that, is a good username, by the way. The trains are cool. <laughs> yep. Fun with flags. Artemis Moon, hi hi. <laughs> you're, you're, you're good. You've claimed your prize. Are you excited about a role polymaker Do you filament? 3D print? Because this or do you know somebody that 3D prints that would like to be gifted? Yes. And nothing makes a better gift for a 3D printer than a serious premium of polymaker filament. I see that come up mm-hmm. in threads all the time. They're like, my boyfriend loves 3D printing. What do I get him? And everybody's like, filament. Yeah. It's literally the gift that keeps on giving until it runs out. Yeah. <laughs> printer food. I love calling it printer food. Mm-hmm. Need to get a printer still. Well, we're we're gonna hook you up. Almighty Malachi. If you want to get a 3D printer, we will get you some filament. So when you get a 3D printer, you'll have some. We mm-hmm. will hook it up to you. Mm-hmm. We will give it to you. So reach out and you want to roll. It ends up being like a $35 gift card to polymaker.com. And it's worth every cent. It's worth yep. every cent. Because you can yep. even get three kilogram rolls, get big rolls and stuff. Yes. I highly recommend the Starlight. Starlight is, is my new. That's like my new favorite line of filament. And it prints so nicely. It really does. It's so clean. So nice. So. It's beautiful. I want to spool. You try loading all the different starlights together in the AMS and then just transitioning between them. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. Sub-sector, I like that. a hundred percent. Wind filament, yep, you're going to get a printer for sure. <laughs> Neptune is my fave. It's beautiful. It is really beautiful. I think I have nebula. So hopefully our tree will be decorated by next week. Yes, I have ideas. See, I don't always yes. win. Somehow, mm. just for funny poops and giggles, do one more draw and just see if it was. Just, this is for nothing. This is, yeah. I just want to see. It's probably going to be RJ. This is yeah. for nothing? Yeah, for nothing. Right, see. Be, be alerted. This is for nothing. Maybe I'll send you a keychain or something. Oh, Philanux would have won. Phil I'm sorry, Philanux. We're just curious to see uh, if RJ, MJ, RJ, MJ. What, RJ. A, what a bummer. <laughs> you win nothing. You win nothing. How about this? Let's give him a free wheel spin. <laughs> Sure. Free All right. You want a free wheel spin. Wheel spin. This is free. What if it's a giveaway? Chris, if it's a giveaway, genius. do we then give it him? It goes a- to Philanix. Okay. Philanix gets whatever comes up on the wheel. <laughs> what if it goes times two, then it goes times four. And then and it then, goes giveaway. And then it's Kara movie review, and you get to see oh yes, four gosh. movies for Kara. Dear God, no, please. You just busy through, through the new year. All right, here we go. All right, do it. If it's another giveaway, I'm rolling out of my chair. <laughs> nope. Oh, bankrupt! Oh, bankrupt. oh no! <laughs> you win oh, nothing twice! Phoenix. Oh my god! You win nothing twice! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, oh my geez. goodness. Poor if we RJ, tried to give you something. RJ, RJ called it. You win, and then oh, you geez. win nothing. <laughs> oh. Story of my life. Oh my oh, gosh. Nice. We're sorry. Wait, didn't you win something last week? Or am I just we like should, completely off my rocker here? We need to make like the Philanux award for horrible luck. <laughs> yes. You just got nuxed. <laughs> Brad, wow, Phil getting dunked off. I know. You can't uh, even write this stuff. Uh, just, we should put him like on the laser brain so hall of fame out. with like. A crashed X Wing or something. Or crashed TIE fighters smoldering. Uh, with emoji. Philanux, do you get small for Christmas? It's like the cheaper version I'll of coal. You You're burn it, but then it doesn't even lot. give off heat. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Triclaw! 
if there's, if, there's any, if there's anything that I've learned in Michigan, it's that not a single person hey, in Michigan likes a single person from Ohio. Oh. We don't have enough time to do a probability, but it seems like Tactile wants to do red or black cards. Should we do like a... What our, are you our stove got repoed? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Your stove got repoed. As in... Did you have it on installments, or...? What? I'm sorry. I, there's a story I want to hear there. I know. Well, you can't just say that. And Triclaw lives in Ohio. Oh, hey. Kara, draw a card. And the card is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can't oh, even burn the small because the stove got repoed. <laughs> 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 that is unbelievably epic. Did you do it? Did you do a, a, just a real quick... Yeah, I snuck it in. Oh, I mean, so we're going to have to draw a different card. Because I think everybody saw this one. I'm going to donate some Karen, money. Pick a number one through ten. <laughs> the stove was driving too fast sorry, down the road. Sorry, one through twenty. <laughs> well, I wanted two. Yeah, there's, the stove two? was parked two. illegally oh, in a okay. handicap spot. Ooh. You guys Excuse are hilarious. Excuse me. <laughs> I right, we're gonna pick a different card because I think you guys saw that one. Oh my god! Oh, check and blame Jeremy. I only donated two grand. I did two grand. I did oh, two I grand. Did for goals. up to twenty grand, and he picked two. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was directly correlated. That's you can't do the inverse. <laughs> There's a did high point red, in Ohio. Jeremy? I did. I went on black. No, you didn't. I did. What'd you go on, Jeremy? Red. And I always lose. <laughs> I don't like that laugh. You literally just spoiled it. I want a new card. That's cheating. <laughs> I want to cut. You you shuffle, I cut. Uh, you're so God, stinky and fair. annoying. I'm so sick. You can't, you can't peek at it. Like, hurdy, 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 hurdy. <laughs> Everyone would go black then. Ha, all your black is ruined. <laughs> Invalid. <laughs> How much time is on the prediction? Uh, like three minutes. I can end it early. Okay. Ready? I get to cut. Uh, what are you trying to do? She keeps slipping cards yeah, out. Cut it, cut it in the top card will be it. All right, I'm ending the prediction. Ready? In three, two. Red. No! Oh, I lost <laughs> again. <laughs> hey, I lost too, Jeremy. <sighs> Why am I so bad at picking? Please. Jeremy, you owe DMAT two spools, by the way. I know I do, and the only reason that he doesn't have it is because I also own <coughs> something else. An ingot? Oh, yeah, that's right. I owe two ingots, too. And I have one done, but I owe two. <laughs> Almighty Malachi, hats off to you for nice. absolutely slinging some sick points. Congratulations. And Manor Mutant, way to go. Way to put something up, but also get your reward. And Vree oh, Dog, Vree. Well, put 1180 at it. Almost Garbo, doubled yours. Questionable amount, but we'll guess. Steve Carbo has been winning a lot. <laughs> and I'm the yeah, biggest was, loser for red. I literally, I bet every single tangent crystal I had left. <sighs> Funny. You guys. Funny. Where did, did Philanux do it? No, Philanux would have probably picked red. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Philanux. <laughs> I added Almighty Malachi to the Laser Brain Hall of Fame. Nice. For prediction. Well, you're going to ask the status of Chop Chopper is not looking good. Hey, he's printed and he's here. He's just. I told Jeremy there's no way he's going to get it done by. Challenge accepted. Oh, well, there's a couple other projects that have to sort of slide in front of that because of recent developments. Mm -hmm. So we'll get there. All right. You guys, thank you so much for coming and spending time with us. It is past the podcast bedtime. It I is. still have to work tomorrow. At the butt crack of dawn, is like, oh no, Rise of the Podcast bumped angry Ahsoka. But Cam's ankle might slay a sick drop. That is a sick drop. Ooh, I can't believe he just yeets 70 mayhem some. into addition. Oh, 83, 83. 88. Nice. That might be the drop of the night. Love. The Somebody had 84 right or something, didn't they? I, I might have missed that. Uh, Darth Gallum. Anyway, um, oh, it was Stone Monkey's going to steal it. Oh, wait. what? Why did Stone Monkey's direction just switch? 
It kind of rocks back and forth. Well, apparently Nightcore and Philanux oh, aren't that Whoa, far away. Miles an hour. Those are my favorite. It, that there's nobody to bump into. If he had somebody to bump into, that would have been, <laughs> oh my goodness. Is he going to oh! oh! The inner Oh, whoa, 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 Oh, what a drop. Oh, I'm more excited goodness. about this than watching the stupid Super Bowl. Wait, 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 wait. Kessel Run. Run. No, he's going to go wide. He's going to go wide. Yeah, uh, too, too far, wide. too far, too oh, far. that was close. That was real close. Oh, man. Wow. That's cool. Trains oh, are cool. That was a nice snipe. No, Carbo's not going fast enough. No. But could Brown run into... You guys are just absolutely... <laughs> Ooh, they're going to go... It's like, are they one a witch, one a zombie? What are those? Yeah, a witch and a zombie. That's hilarious. Redog. Redog Knight. That's, ah! That could be close. Oh, oh. Close. Has Mustang got anything here? Go Chip. That guy Go is really chip. cool. Go that's, that's, Chip. Mustang, that's Mustang is really cool. Angle, but terrible angle. Look close. at Chip dancing, oh. though. He's so sweet. Oh. All right, Chris, do the outro. Is there anybody to raid tonight? Right. Um... That's a good question. Let me check that. And these small before. streamers. I really want to do, so, I want to do like people with like one or two viewers to just really drive home that. Oh, this is get, so like, much Ryan, fun. like working on that. <sighs> yeah, Ryan. Deep Laker. Let's, let's just do Vile Mods since he's got the lowest number of people on right now. Okay. Mm. That works for me. All right. Well, I do want to say thank you to everybody for joining us this evening. But first, I need to apologize to everybody who's listened to the audio only version of the podcast. While we're ranking things, I'm sure it makes it not very easy to follow along. But you can always make that better by joining us live every Saturday night at twitch.tv slash rise of the podcast, usually at 7 p.m. Central. <sighs> Otherwise, you can catch us pre-recorded at your convenience at youtube.com slash rise of the podcast. Nightcore, we will rate you Watch as many episodes as you want. The fun doesn't ever need to stop there. There's literally hundreds of hours of content there. It would take weeks to watch all of this. Not that you would ever want to. <laughs> um, thanks for being patient with us as we dealt with both holiday parties and technical difficulties. But you guys made it super fun. We had an absolute blast. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. And of course, may the force be with you.